Well, I think what was, was very important is that for us, uh, that as a, as a new government, to ensure that everyone is on board when it comes to fighting COVID and to try to, to, to flatten the curve and control the spread. Um, when we got into government, before we got into government in October, the infection rate was over 5,000. Now we've managed to bring it down in two months' time to um, about 500. But that was done because we had a plan. We said that we we're going to follow the science and that we are going to follow what the doctors and the professionals tell us, not the politicians. So what the Minister of, Agric um, I'm sorry, of Health did, and Wellness, the Minister of Health and Wellness, uh, uh, Minister Shabbat, he set up a whole team of doctors and nurses that work not only within the government system, but also the private doctors and, private, and, and, from, um, and from, the, from the private clinics. As what we said all along, all of us are in this thing together, so we brought in the private doctors, the private clinics, the private labs, everybody on board to be able to fight to control um, COVID. But secondly, we realize is that you can't be putting up an SI today and then two weeks later that finish and then you bring it up and you, you have this sort of uncertainty. So what we did is to set up um, the, the SI that we set up is, is almost like open-ended. If we wanted to just say, okay, declare like victory, we could have already lift the, the, um, the curfew. You know, and, and say, OK, we don't win. But it's not just about political victory. It is about protecting the lives of our citizens. And so we felt that we need to hold it on a little bit longer so that, um, so that whenever we remove the restrictions, it's not going to flare up again you know, one month later or a few weeks later.